Bonjour, hola, my name is Tayana and welcome to my struggle journey of trying to reach some type of financial independence. Right now I'm in phase one, which is to leave my customer service job and transition into a new career, which is digital marketing. So as you can tell by the title today, I'm going to discuss my plan to leave customer service for good. I ain't going back. So I'm so excited to share this journey online so other people can see like the process and how to go into a new career, especially for someone like me who really doesn't know what I want to do with my life. So that's pretty much what this channel is about or is going to be about. First video, we're going to talk about my plan to escape customer service. Okay. So I joined a digital marketing bootcamp um, a month ago. I haven't started yet. I went ahead and made my payment and I actually start this upcoming Monday on October 4th. And I'm still working my full time job, which is I work at a call center for an insurance company. And I absolutely I don't absolutely hate it. I just am absolutely over it at this point. I really don't enjoy customer service type work and it's just, it's not for me. So a little bit more about me before we go deeper into like the digital marketing bootcamp is, so I graduated from university back in 2019. I actually studied something completely different. <laughs> I studied international studies or global studies and honestly I absolutely loved it. I loved every single class that I took that um, pertained to my overall degree. I loved learning information. I was able to study abroad. I learned a new language. Well, I improved my language skills. Yo hablo espanol. And so I loved all of it, but I wasn't as invested. Um, I did try to get an internship that didn't go through. Um, I worked a lot during university, so I couldn't pursue like, more opportunities. And then after college, um, I joined AmeriCorps Vista where I was able to get my debt paid off. And there I was with AmeriCorps Vista. I was able to get like a volunteer position, which is what AmeriCorps Vista is. You volunteer for a year, sometimes six months, sometimes two months, and you can get money towards your loans or money for you to go to school. And that's what I did. I did two months and then I did six months and paid off all my loans. No hack. Um, after that, I, during my AmeriCorps Vista term, I worked as a program coordinator. And I was also put on social media management. I absolutely did not want to do social media management because I had no social media management skills. <laughs> However, once the pandemic hit and we all like start working from home, I really enjoyed being over social media. I didn't learn as much as I could have because I was the only person on social media and we had a small team and nobody else knew social media. And so I learned so much. I really liked my day-to-day -day life doing that type of work. And then my term ended in September of 2020. And then I had to find another job. And being in AmeriCorps Vista, if you're familiar with Vista, you don't earn much money. Honestly, I was earning less than $1,000 a month. So naturally, I decided, okay, I'm going to find something that's paying me a lot more money because with AmeriCorps Vista, I don't even think you're earning a minimum wage, to be honest. Went on YouTube, do, 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 do. someone posted job opportunities and I found this insurance customer service job. My dumbass took it. I mean, <laughs> I took it without thinking, although I knew it wasn't going to be a good match for me. I was like, okay, this is, this is a great, good amount starting off and there are things I can do and it's pretty much hard to find a job. So I just stick with this anyway. Whew. After my two months of training, I hit the floor the first day and I knew deep down in my soul, I knew deep down in my soul, I said, it's not for me. 
this is not for me like i had so much anxiety i was literally depressed like never in my life have i experienced depression but those first like six seven eight months was just like what is going on so again i just knew customer service wasn't for me even before this job i had customer service jobs every job i had actually was customer service so i'm already used to it but again i was getting more money so i decided to stick with it i'm still here to this day still holding on still trying to survive all that's going to change because i'm going to go ahead and attend this boot camp starting monday it is a 10 week program yeah i'm so excited i'm really excited to change careers to do something new um i know it'd be difficult for me to look for new positions i also plan to do try to get an internship so that is my goal i will update this channel again after my first week at the boot camp just to check in let you know how i'm feeling um also probably make another video where i break down the structure of the boot camp and also the pre-work because that part was very interesting to me because again i have no background in digital marketing so it was literally a lot to learn for the pre-work section as well and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you all in my next one ciao ciao